What's up? What's new? What is happening? There we go. Are you guys able to hear Curb Stomped right now? Let's see if I've got my audio set up properly for this. I, don't, I, I heard myself coming through on your stream, so I had to mute it. Fantastic. Yeah, definitely weird when you get that sort of things. All right. Uh, I will... Uh, don't need to display my video when I am up here. But hello, 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 Curb Stomped. How is it going? Oh, good. You know, drinking an energy drink and uh, just, uh, you know, sitting around, not doing much. I see. What is your energy drink of choice? Oh, today it's the uh, Monster uh, Zero Ultra White, which Salinth will make a what face to in the chat because um, he hates it. Uh, no, Salinth did not make a what face. Salinth just up and said trash. Zero yes. Ultra Energy White. Was that it? <laughs> yes. I see. Oh, man. Uh, man, uh, I have had a couple energy drinks lately. Um, I try not to have them too often, but every so often I need that sort of pick-me-up with things. Um, living right above a set, living like... Um, a two-minute walk away from a 7-Eleven definitely lets you impulse buy some of that stuff a heck of a lot easier than it would be if you didn't. I drink them daily. I see. That explains the energy level that you're able to keep up on your streams, not gonna lie. I try to, anyways. Oh, man. So, uh, I've seen you've been taking the last couple days off. Have you been feeling unwell or something? Uh, no, I'm starting my vacation today, basically, so I'm off work for pretty much three weeks, and I'm going to be streaming continually. Gotcha. Three weeks. Wow. Did you just, like, take the entirety of your vacation all at the same time, or was it just sort of what you were doing? Uh, it was mostly because uh, with the COVID going on, lots of people were off at work. So I was the only manager basically for the last three months. And now everybody's come back. So I was like, it is time for me not to be here. Right? You guys all got breaks. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> yes, basically. Totally understand. Oh, man. Wish I could take... I wish I could take like three weeks vacation and just stream. I... Don't think I could uh, handle being on uh, actually streaming for longer than like four hours at a time per day. But, you know, would definitely be very fun. I would get so I much would... work done and I would procrastinate doing so much work. I would say the key to streaming longer than four hours is an energy drink. <laughs> very on point. Very on point. I love it. Oh, man. Uh, do you have anything specific planned? So I see, uh, chat right now is trying to say like 24 hour 24 stream, 24 hour, hour stream. stream. Uh, no, it's just basically to stream as a eight hours every day. Like it's a actual legit job and, uh, just see what happens basically. See if it's, uh, you know, with that kind of schedule, if it's going to be a, uh, feasible future option we'll say. Gotcha. Okay. I'm, uh, I sh definitely need to check in with you afterwards and probably for uh, anyone out there who's watching, uh, check in, uh, sort of, uh, maybe check in <laughs> with you on a brief thing for that and let them, uh, let some of them know how that's gone. Cause, uh, yeah, yeah definitely super it's, interesting. I know it's going to be minimum eight hours. I should say minimum. Ooh, yikes. Don't burn yes. yourself out, man. No, not possible. I streamed, uh, in, uh, April, 29 different days, so... Wow. I think yes. I actually have the ability to bring that up right now, yeah. Hmm, interesting. I okay. feel like a star. <laughs> right, uh, let's see. Um, in the last... Uh, you said in April, didn't you? I believe April was 29 days, yeah. Um, yeah, because I'm currently looking last 30, so if I move to last 90... It'll definitely tell me that I'll catch April within it. So, one, two, three. Yeah, you missed the 21st. Uh, let's make sure I'm on the right time zone. Yep, Pacific. 21st. 
you streamed twice on uh, a Sunday. Oh, wow. I've definitely never done like twice in the same day. That would be craziness. Yeah, I'm only seeing like two or three days here that you missed. That is incredible. Yes. Man. It was uh, insane, but it was fun. Gotcha. I mean, having looked at some of your numbers, I can also see uh, that was quite a uh, turning point for you when you <laughs> did that. So it definitely had some pretty positive benefits for you. Um, you can see it started in March, basically, when I started doing it daily. Uh, not daily. Well, pretty much daily, but yeah. Fair enough. All right. So um, I know we've got a number of your community in here. Um uh, Bob and Salinth know you, but um, because I'm sort of trying to see if I can make a thing of this, uh, how about you go ahead, uh, take over, and tell people about yourself? Oh, geez. Okay, well, uh, I mean, my real name is Chris. We, everyone calls me Curb or Curb Stomped on, uh, on stream. I started streaming like mm, two years ago. Docs. I was Docs, yes. I started streaming two years ago. Uh, I think two years ago, I don't know. Uh, Mikey T got me into it. I was watching him, and it was uh, looked like fun. And I was like, I think I could do this. I didn't have the gear to do it, but I think I can do it. So I cobbled together a crappy stream setup, and I started streaming some whatever. And uh, when I first started streaming, I was originally planning on just streaming Pokemon-related stuff, because that's what I had and I enjoyed. And then... That was going fine. And then when I got my new computer, a certain Mikey T was like, you got to try Minecraft. You have to play Minecraft. And I was like, okay, it's a kid's game, whatever. And then that was the end of it. It was Minecraft 24-7. <laughs> pretty much. I definitely remember a point when you started doing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that was pretty crazy. It was good times. So uh, you've officially passed the two-year mark now? I think so. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, my Twitch account is like eight or ten years old, but streaming wise, it's, I think, around two years. I'm not exactly sure of the first stream date. Fair. Man. I mean, I guess I'm coming up on, uh, I'm around a year and a half now, so uh, I guess I'm yeah, not I was that... right around you, if not, I, yeah, like right around there. I remember when I first was viewing it i was watching your early streams so man if we could go back and watch ourselves then Oof. and give ourselves pointers i mean uh, it's a it's a bad scene for sure right but at the same time like i kind of wish i had some of that i'm really disappointed about um that twitch doesn't keep our content um and i mean in the midst of all the craziness happening right now even more so but so, I have uh, some of my early ones that I did save, and I do have my first Minecraft stream, which I'm going to go through sometime and make some sort of highlight video of my dumbness. <laughs> uh, honestly, it might just be fun for you literally to do a react video of you reacting <laughs> to your first Minecraft stream. That, I agree, but it's also, I think, four hours long, so... <laughs> I mean, fair? Fair? I mean, that yeah. might just create, that might be one of those, like, guys, I've streamed 17 days in a row. I kind of just need a break where I'm not going to do any anything. So I'm going to throw on an old stream of mine and we're just going to, like, react to my stream. It might be fun. Absolutely. I mean, I watched some of it and I was just like, wow, I was really dumb. Right. I mean, I'm still dumb. I'm not saying I'm not dumb now. I'm still dumb. But uh, I was especially dumb. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure if I looked back at, I'm sure if I looked back at myself, I'd be like, who is this person? He's just like quiet and mousy and doesn't <laughs> even look into his camera. Like, he's just like, yeah, I'm going to look over here and talk to everybody. Just like, dude, like actually like eyes on the camera, <laughs> talk into the microphone. <laughs> well, I never look in the camera, but uh, I do. I try to talk into the microphone right i guess yeah you've got yours positioned so you're sort of looking into the game yeah well that's very cool um i know for a while you were running like a team server is that still the case yes i have my supporter server and uh, anyone that's uh is a, wa a viewer can get on there and play with me and it's been a it's been a good time and uh we've had a lot of fun on there a um, little slower now, but uh, when it first reset, it was full all the time. 
Gotcha. That's really cool. Yep, and it worked out well because uh, I ended up getting a sponsorship for that, so all the servers sponsored for me, and uh, I don't have to pay for it, so I like that a lot. That's incredible. Uh, who sponsored that? Uh, Titan Nodes. Um, they're a smaller Minecraft uh, host, but uh, I've had a lot of good luck with them so far. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, very, very, very cool. Uh, I have noticed you've been branching out to a couple other games recently. Uh, how have those been going for you? I've been having fun with uh, other games. Um, it's more, so far, has been like, uh, well, I do the show with Mikey T with Couch Dudes, so we did Minecraft Dungeons, and then actually this weekend, Couch This is coming back, so we'll be doing some other stuff on there as well. And, um, you know, just... With the amount of days I'm streaming, I feel that I don't need to... I have other games I'd like to play, so I don't need to do Minecraft every time. So I have been doing Saturdays more of a free play kind of day with whatever I feel like playing then. Okay. Which happens to be Minecraft more often than not. <laughs> <laughs> free play. We're not playing Minecraft. Unless I feel like playing Minecraft. Basically. Uh, I love it. <laughs> okay. Um... So I know about uh, Couch This and Couch Dudes, but um, what uh, for anyone out there who does not know about it, and potentially even some of your community who may not have heard about this side project, That's what is true. that? Well, uh, Couch Dudes is just me and Mikey get together and play co-op games on the couch together. Sort of like an old school gaming vibe where we're sitting together and we're playing and gabbing about what's happening and general discussion. And then... Couch This is a four-player couch PvP or co-op stream where we get four dudes. I shouldn't say dudes. I should say people. It's not always dudes. I mean, mostly it's dudes, but there have been ladies on there. And uh, we play different games and have a loud time together. Generally fun time. Gotcha. Um, I know for a while you guys were doing uh, audience integration sort of games. Is that uh, something we're going to see in this upcoming season? More of that or I, less of that? I would think so, yes, but uh, it depends on what we're feeling for games. Sometimes the when the participation is really high, it's really fun, but then when the participation is low, it makes the games not as fun. So it just sort of depends what we're feeling like and what is the what the viewers are feeling like, too. Gotcha. Uh Chocolate Monkey, what's up, what's new, what's happening? Thank you very much. It's one of uh, one of my favorite ties here. I freaking love the pink tie. So good. Um, well, that uh, that's incredible. Um, I'm super happy to see Couch This coming back. Definitely a, a very fun time as uh, someone who's been able to uh, get in there and uh, screw around with you guys by, uh, you know, creating black holes in games and making you guys yes. dodge various rockets going and all of that. Yes, it's uh, always a fun time for sure. And it's good now that uh, we are legally allowed to congregate in more than two people groups again. We can get the show back on the road. I know, that's fantastic. And super excited to see that again. Absolutely. Is that going to be your only stream those days? Or are you going to be trying to like do a curb stomp stream and oh, yeah. like a couch this stream? I will probably stream in the morning and then I will uh, end the stream, head over to Mikey's. And then I think we're probably streaming on both channels. Hopefully we did it last weekend for Couch Dudes. So we were streaming onto both our channels and we're going to try to keep that going. Okay. Well, very cool. Very cool. Um, all right. Uh, so let's see. Um, so, uh, you were out of the loop. What are the two of us talking about? So, um, right now, so Curb Stomped is a uh, very good friend of mine. Uh, he is someone who started streaming about the same time as I did uh, and came from the same community. So, uh, I've known Curb Stomped for a very, very long time. Um, he has been uh, very integral in helping me grow as a streamer alongside of him and has been uh, incredibly um, helpful in uh, some of those down moments where I need like a pick-me-up or something like that. Um, oh, shucks. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> um, as part of uh, what I'm trying to do here, um, 
I felt like talking to streamers and uh, talking about um, what sort of uh, other streamers are doing, what makes them tick, and other things about that might be an incredibly useful thing. Because everybody thinks about things differently, everyone does things differently. So trying to potentially int uh, add an interview element to uh, what I do here seemed like something I wanted to try. So what I'm chatting with uh, Curb Stomped about today is kind of um, prototypey of what I'm hoping to do. Maybe go over a little bit of um, his stats, chat about a couple things, and just uh, learn, uh, learn and uh, help you guys learn a bit about the streaming process. So that's kind of the what we're gonna go here, and it might just be like two people bantering back and forth. Well, we'll sort of see. We'll see what works. We'll see what doesn't. And I'm sure I will uh, hit him up after this and go like, so like, how did I do? What worked? <laughs> like, was I absolutely awful? Like, did I just like lean everything on you? Were you uncomfortable? Just like, oh my god, I'm so. Uh, so gonna overanalyze this. It'll be great. Awful. I'm so sorry in advance. <laughs> well, first reviews are coming in already, and it's not looking good. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I mean, yeah, but the, <laughs> but I think that's from Salinth. Uh, Salinth Saxors. Salinth is a god. Salinth one two three, and I couldn't think of another thing. <laughs> it's literally just Salinth on another troll account. Um, all putting those reviews in, so... <laughs> <laughs> Slint will troll from his main account. He doesn't need a fake one. Oh, I know. But he'll also troll from his fake accounts. Um, alright, so let's see. Uh, so bringing up on, uh, I'm gonna bring up on my screen right now a little bit of, uh, about Curb Stomp's stats. So Curb Stomp has had an incredible last couple months. At least in, um, yeah, really, all I can say is that, like, Things have been going incredibly well when I look at their stats. Um, so if I bring to like, let's go to 365 here, provided my computer likes me. Um, we can see a very, very clear inflection point going back to last June. Like, uh, we saw sort of like June, July, um up into October, sort of like at a solid line. Then we can definitely see some traction. And then right here around March, which um, I talked about when I looked before, like there is just a clear, massive uptick for him. Um, and I've been seeing him push uh, his streaming more and gain more and more followers as a result, gain more traction. And he just seems like super, super happy as a result of like all the growth that he's seeing. Um, God, this looks like the frickin' Wheel of Fortune thing over here. <laughs> Game average views of the past 365 days. Just like, what have you been playing? Here's so many random things. Battle Chasers Night War. Huh. T uh, time streamed by Gamer of the past 365 days. Minecraft. <laughs> Warframe, Pokemon, a little bit of other stuff. You spent 17 hours and 30 minutes in just chatting. I feel like that I'm, was like a 24-hour drunk stream or something. I might have been intoxicated a little bit for some of those, but uh, that's, you know, a fun time for everybody. Some, maybe all. Um, that's actually uh, a question not all. that I definitely want to uh, bring up later. So I'm going to just make a quick note of that because you've uh, done a couple um, drinking streams in the past. And I'll get to them uh, later, but I do want to ask you about that. For sure. Um, ask away. I am an open book. Fantastic. What is on page 272? Oh, those pages are stuck together. Sorry. <laughs> I see. You're an open bit, except for the pages where you physically can't open them. <laughs> So yeah, um, so I see here that um, obviously in March, and we uh, discussed this before, you had a pretty major um, trend where you have like uh, more than doubled your followers in the last like uh, since um, the middle of March. So in like the last two to three months, you've doubled your followers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, um, have... Once I started streaming daily or pretty well daily... I could tell that I was getting put onto the featured page more mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. because people I'll say how like, you know, what brought you in and they'll tell me, oh, I was scrolling down the Minecraft page and I found you or, you know, someone 
said something, whatever, or they'll say, oh, you were featured. You're on the featured page, okay. which I have had a few people come in and tell me that. And it seems like I might be getting featured in some other countries more often than not, because I've had a lot of Brazilians come into the stream, like a lot. Gotcha. Um, I actually noticed uh, the other day I was browsing through some stats uh, and I think I looked at a random, I was looking at like a Sunday. It was actually interesting. Like of the top 10 streams, it was something like um, the first two were video, were like esports uh, events. And then like the next two largest things were Portuguese streamers. Yes. Um, and like, it's such a, um, it seems like there might be a bit of an explosion going on uh, in South America. And so far as that. So that's uh, actually really cool and might be, yeah, gaining more traction there. Um, Definitely did you, a possibility. Did you find there was any uh, language barrier issues or anything oh, like that? They'll always come in and ask if I speak Portuguese or Spanish or whatever. And I'll be like, uh, sorry, I speak only English. And then they'll start to chat in English or they'll say like, I can't understand you i'm using google translate or whatever oh dear yeah but uh it's you know it's been fine no one has like come in and uh you know just filled up the chat with stuff i can't understand and also like you know we say one of the rules is no it's english only so they'll they see that and then eventually if it gets cluttered up one of the mods will just uh delete the messages so they don't choke up the chat gotcha Man, I'm trying to imagine someone trying to Google Translate one of your one of your no. stories about work. A nightmare. Right? A nightmare. <laughs> oh, there you can. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my thing here that you've brought up. I can see my Twitch account was created December 18th, 2012. December so there you go. 18th, 2012. Oof. Old timer. And in fact, I'll say it wasn't even on Twitch that I created this account. Twitch was originally Justin.tv, so this was created on Justin.tv. Man. Uh, definitely before me. Um, oh, yeah. Long I, time ago. I was first introduced to uh, Twitch um, back uh, back when it was, uh, it was still Twitch at the time. Um, this was a previous roommate of mine who used to watch a lot of Twitch. Um, Ripsick, who I believe oh. you also know. Oh, Former world record holder Ripsick, formerly known as Sugimura. Is that who we're talking about? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Very yeah, good. me and him lived together for about a year and a half. Um, so my introduction to Twitch was uh, him watching um, Mar uh, Mario Maker players. Ah, yeah. yes. Um, he would uh, sometimes spend like just hours like watching Mario Maker players players just go through those crazy levels i'm just like i don't holy jesus what is going <laughs> on like that is so utterly bonkers oh yeah you just watch some people like speed running through this and you're just like I... uh yeah i will die at the first goomba in super mario brothers uh, i'm a good player it's like <laughs> we run whoops i'm dead oh dear I once heard someone say, like, it may be that that first Goomba in Super Mario Brothers is the most deadly video game character in existence. Oh, probably. Just thinking about the sheer number of people who have died to that character, probably as, like, their first death ever in a video game. Just like... <gasps> well, that game was groundbreaking for uh, when it came out, so yeah, it would have been quite fatal for people that were not used to that kind of game right uh, it was one of the first video games out there i played definitely remember having an old and this is going to be dating myself which i do all the time uh getting my getting a uh, super nintendo for christmas um and ended up getting like um the super mario brothers all stars came with it so mm. it had um, Super Mario Brothers, and then like Super Mario uh, Land Two, Super Mario Land Three, and um, one or two other things in there. Just like ah, uh, so 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 many hours devoted to that game. It's a kid. It was a good one, and uh, I mean, I mean, you may be dating yourself, but 
I be I started on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, so we'll leave Ooh. it at that. Not something I've ever actually played on. Uh, I you don't need to go back to those games. About ninety nine percent of them are not good. So <laughs> I see. Good to know. Good to know. But hey, I mean that could actually be said about all most video game consoles, like. Even going back to some, like, what? The PlayStation, there's probably, what, about two, maybe three dozen titles of, like, the entire collection that have stood the test of time? That, uh, yes, and it's basically because that was the first switch over to 3D. So those games all had to figure out how to make a 3D game. And a lot of them did not do it well, but they did it good in their time. Right? Like, like that's going to be what? Like, Final Fantasy VII, of course. Uh, some of the Final Fantasy titles, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, maybe a couple other games there. Yeah, but most of the sports games and racing games, uh, I mean, the racing ones stand up, but sports games, 3D <laughs> action games mostly, yeah, just not good. Can you imagine? Maybe you guys should totally just like couch dudes, find yourself like an old PlayStation or old just like old Xbox oh. And just, like, try playing, like, I don't know, FIFA 2002. I still got all my old systems, so it's definite, uh, definite possibility. I have done some streams playing old Xbox games and stuff like that. There's a lot of garbage in there. Absolutely. Could be anyone. Hello, what's up, what's new, what's happening? <laughs> Mr. Head Dense is here. I don't get the reference, but Salent clearly <laughs> knows something. <laughs> oh man all right so uh yeah let's see um looking at a couple things so i've moved these stats over here to 90 days for people so one of the things when looking at your own stats or looking at someone else's stats in case you want to help a friend or you just want to see what someone else's stats looks like is trying to look at things on like three and seven days doesn't really tell you a whole lot about someone whereas once you start extending things to like 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, you can really start to see some trends. So like if I bring this over to seven days, you'll see like some big splotches here across Minecraft and Minecraft dungeons. And you'll see followers here, which looks like, well, pretty much like you gave a crayon to a four-year-old and said, draw some lines. And they're like, hey, look. And you're like, this is perfect. It's going on the fridge. But uh, you can't really infer much from something like that. Whereas when I moved over to, say, the 180 days, um, we saw that very clear line, which I showed you guys earlier, about where Curbstomp did something that very clearly worked for him, which, again, he identified as the point that he switched to trying to stream uh, almost daily on a consistent schedule. You stream usually starting about the time I get off, like 7 until 11 at night. Is that about right? Yeah, I try to go 7 to 11.30-ish, because then, I don't know about you, but for me, once the stream's over, it takes, like, another hour before it's like, okay, I can fall asleep now. Right? So if I stream to, like, midnight, it's like, I'm in bed at 1 a.m. and just getting ready to fall asleep, and then it's like, I have to wake up in five and a half hours to go to work. So I try to cut it 7 to 11.30. It's... Sometimes goes long, sometimes goes short, but that's usually the goal with my streams. Gotcha. Yeah, I I definitely have that similar thing. I go at an earlier time period, but I've definitely done a couple late streams. Um, my first thing is always like transitioning. Um, I have to transition my voice and my tone away because I'm so projecting into a microphone and talking and all that. Like the first thing I have to do is like, right, how do you actually talk to a normal person one on one? All right, how do you, like, not try to be entertaining in everything you do? Like, all right, there's an opportunity for a pun. I'm not taking it. There's an opportunity <laughs> for a joke. Not taking it. There's an opportunity to turn this into a story. Not taking it. Nope, we're having normal conversations with people. Okay, we're good. Well, the good thing for me is I don't have normal conversations, <laughs> and I take everything as a joke, so... Fair enough. Uh, what you see on Twitch is basically what you see in real life, so... <laughs> Well, that is pretty nice. It means if someone runs into you. Feldy not taking an opportunity for a pun, right? Turns out when your significant other groans and just eye rolls <laughs> every time you make a pun, you learn to recognize that they don't appreciate you making puns all the time. 
So I actually I mean, try to condense most of my puns to when I'm streaming. And every time then, you pun, do a pun when you're streaming, I groan and I roll too. <laughs> right? But that's kind of like a feature rather than a bug. <laughs> oh, like, okay, getting, perfect. Having that eye roll where you're like, exactly, Celine, that's kind of the goal. But like, yeah, that's kind of a thing. All right, so what was I saying here? Um, so we saw a pretty clear trend. So clearly what you're doing is working. Um, uh, we noticed that like Minecraft is clearly your most played game by a significant, significant margin. I'm actually going to bring times. this down. Down to 90 because it's much more uh, in line with what you've been doing lately. Uh, everything is looking fantastic. Like you're in the green for everything. You've seen your average viewers. Um, honestly, it looks like your average viewers doubled from 90 days ago. Um, bring yourself up into that like uh, 10, 11 average viewer. Um, so, sorry, I will say here that Twitch's number is definitely different from these numbers. Of course. Um, Twitch, my average number on Twitch is higher than this. So I don't know how Sully Gnome gets their numbers, but Twitch's numbers are higher for average viewers. Interesting. What does Twitch say you're at? Uh, right. Mm, uh, over the last month, it was like, can't remember, 16 or 18, something like that. Okay. Um, but I mean, who knows what Twitch is, what Twitch is counting versus Sully Gnome. It's, it's like hard to say. Totally. I mean, they both still say, paint like a picture where you're clearly up over time, which is good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, if you ever got to a point where you're starting to see about monetizing some of this, um, you'd probably just try to find whoever had like the higher numbers and try to use those. But, you know, for a stat side of things, it's definitely good mm -hmm. to see yourself pushing significant, like your hours watched makes a lot of sense. It's so weird That's a sometimes lot of hours. to... It's so weird to look at a number like this and go like, like, literally, like if we added up the entire time someone did here, it is like utterly freaking bonkers. Like how many, like, that's a lot of hours. Like well, how I'm many hours say... do we work in a year? How many hours do we work in a year? Total work hours in a year is apparently 2,080. 2, so like the total number of hours spent watching you in the last 90 days is like two years worth of like a full-time job that's crazy i know crazy uh your followers gained is pretty freaking crazy too 485 a... compared to the previous uh 90 day period uh where it looks like you gained about 50 so that's fantastic uh, your views gained similarly. Your peak viewers, you had like 57 peak viewers. Was that post-raid or just like a special stream? Do you remember? Um, I would guess it was probably post-raid if I had to guess. But my biggest raid was way bigger than that. So I don't know how they get their numbers, honestly. Um, it's possible. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I believe I've heard like... Um, I know with Twitch, they don't count some, like, the first 15 minutes of your stream. It's possible that, like, these guys only check things, like, on, a, on an hourly basis or something. Or, like, they discount, like, a certain chunk of time post-raid. So that they, you don't look too weird in the stats. Um, yeah, it's hard to say with that one. I would guess it would be a raid, but uh, it's hard to say. Okay um let's see other things game average views over the past 90 days it actually looks and this is incredibly um an incredibly fantastic thing to see i mean minecraft clearly stands out but it actually looks like you're able to keep a good portion of your community through whatever you're playing um yeah there's a you know i've got the supporters that always come out to watch um even if they just drop the lurk they're always there, like Slynth and uh, Bob's always there. Uh, heck, you come in and drop the lurk. Killer Kapowski, Glad Joe. There's all sorts of people. Could be anyone's always there. Could be anyone was even lurking when he wasn't even streaming on Twitch. He'd be streaming on Mixer and he'd be coming back to Twitch just to come and oh check, man, chill out in the, in the stream. I finally convinced him to come back to Twitch though, so that's a, a good thing. Gotcha. Yeah, that the is constant, uh, like the constant uh, belittling of Mixer got to him, <laughs> cracked him. Fair enough. All right, just looking over at chat here. What do we see here? Um, Killa Kapowski, what's happening over here, folks? 
Today, uh, I am uh, trying out an interview sort of stream and uh, bringing on my good friend Curb Stomped. I believe Curb Stomped just mentioned your name. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Um, Killer Kaposki is my brother, and he should hit the follow button on Feldy right now. Well, you heard Curb Stomp there. And anyone <laughs> else out there who is watching who hasn't, I would absolutely adore you to hit that follow button right now. It means that you guys can check out my sort of content in the future where I chat about sort of what's happening in the streaming world and tips and tricks and things you can do to help and improve your streams or other content there. Um, <laughs> um, could be anyone. Nah, it was the total of six viewers for all of the streamers over there, right? Man, I have heard some unfortunate things about Mixer uh, these days. It is, they're trying and who knows? You never know what could happen with a good advertising push, with a good, with a good feature rollout, or or a misstep by Twitch. But uh, yeah, Mixer is kind of a bit of a meme. It's uh, not looking good over there, and I would not expect them to be going for much longer. The features over there are great. Could be anyone is absolutely right. Their platform is way better than Twitch. It's just that nobody wants to go over to Mixer. Of course. But who knows? Um, if there, It might be that Mixer tries to adapt to a different sort of content that better captures live streaming. Um, I've heard just chatting is like been growing by leaps and bounds compared to everything else. So if they manage to pull in a couple like personality streamers... It could change things. I mean, if they want to give me $40 million, I'll stream exclusively on Mixer starting right now. Right? Oh, man. Wouldn't all of us absolutely love, like, the type of money that uh, Ninja and Shroud are reported <laughs> to have heard? Uh, reportedly said to have uh, gotten for moving. Yes, that no one knows officially, but lots of, lots of big numbers are being said that I think are a little too big, but uh, who knows? I mean, given that, um, I mean, it's sort of like a sports contract side of things. Someone might say like $25 million, but that's not like, here's $25 million. It's sort of like $25 million over a three year time or something like that, or like $10 million over three years. So, I mean, it's just still, obviously still a lot of money, but like 3.3 .3 million a year for someone of like Shroud or Mixer, uh, Shroud or Ninja's caliber might actually be legitimate if they can uh, pull the views that mixer had hoped which they sure can't because no one wants to watch him on mixer right um but who knows the day could come that things change out salint says you would be totally a sellout if you accepted if you moved to mixer for that sort of money <laughs> they could give me 40 dollars and i'll be there tomorrow Perfect. There we go, Mixer. You've heard what it takes to get curb stomped and to bring a few of his community over. But not Salinth. Salinth will not go there. No, oh, Salinth's been there. Salinth's been there. Ooh, interesting. Salinth might be on the sellout train. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, you're looking super healthy, actually, on the ability to um, uh, stream to a variety of games, which is actually really fantastic. Um, I've seen a number of streamers have a huge problem when they try to transition away from, like, a specific game into more of the variety streaming stuff. Um, there's a, yeah, a, a number of, because I come from the Magic the Gathering world, I've seen a number of, Magic tends to go in very, like, spike and then a slow drop-off, spike, slow drop-off. As um, every time a new expansion has happened, everyone flocks to the game. And then as the set has been out for longer and longer, people tend to drift away. So I see yeah. a lot of Magic streamers sort of like go hard for a month and a half. And then like, all right, I'm going to be playing other games. I'm going to try other stuff. So I've definitely seen a number of people who are like um, sitting in that like 50 to 100 range who then flip over to another game because they're bored. And I'm like... You have seven people watching you. That, oh, I get it. Like, uh, you're streaming for streaming what you want and you're doing things. But man, that has got to hurt. Like, clearly people are really only coming for your magic content. So, I mean, this to me then says people are coming for you. I mean, a few more people are coming for your Minecraft content. But really seems like people are showing up for uh, Curb Stumped, which is fantastic. I mean, that is the goal, is to not 
I mean, the game should be secondary to the streamer, honestly, but that's not really the way it works on Twitch. I you, you can watch some of these big streamers who have thousands of viewers at the same time, and they just sit there clicking, and you're basically just... Well, you could be just playing the game. They're not bringing anything to it. That's right. not for me, but that's for some people, and that's fine. True enough, true enough. I love these numbers here. The, like, game followers per hour. Oh, such a, such a fun little category. Just saying, like, yeah, for every hour you stream, you're going to see this. This just seems broken. I have no idea what's happening here. Oh, daily follower gain. Oh, where it's averaged everything out. I understand what's happened. June, it's just not registering yet. All right, so that was kind of there. All right. Now, and I've given you heck for this, so you're probably going to be slightly less happy with me for bringing this one up. For uh -oh. anyone here who hasn't seen, this is Curb Stomp's YouTube channel. <laughs> so, um, Curb Stomp has done a couple things, a few things on YouTube, and honestly, dude, you should be doing so much more with YouTube. I know. Oh, man. Like, seriously, you went and you just, like, after I think I poked, uh, suggested it a few times, um, you went from, like, you released a couple videos, um, like, early on in your stream time, it looks like, and then, like, you took a break and then, bam, this Panda Express one you did. Just, like, out of nowhere, got, like, 113 views after, like, not posting anything for two months. You followed it up with, like, an edited version of it, it looks like. Then you came out with another one. And dude, you were getting some solid numbers for someone who had like very little content out there. I am lazy. That I can um, totally hear. Yep. That's the main thing. Those videos take so long to make. Like that panda one, the first panda one there took probably 12 hours to make. Gotcha. That eight minute video. And it's, it was... A learning experience obviously i'd be faster at it if i did it now mm -hmm. but it is a lot of time to set aside for something like that so the the other thing is like with the youtube video you put it up it's like yes i got 130 views whatever great nice and everything but like with the twitch it's like instant feedback right that second there's no waiting on it i don't have to just be doing 12 hours of editing with no feedback and then like put it out and be like, oh, I hope this, I hope this works. I don't know. I totally hear you on that. I, I sound like a millennial. I'm, I want that instant gratification. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, uh, in many, we're in the live streaming uh, sector. I mean, literally like, yeah, we're used to interacting with people in real time. So it is incredibly weird to switch to something with a delayed time. I mean, yeah, going so, back. Sorry, I do say I do want to do this more. And part of my vacation time here is that I'm going to spend the time trying to do some more videos. Not on my stream days, but on my off day, which I'm probably going to continue having Sundays and off day. I'm going to continue trying to do the YouTube video editing and hopefully we can get something going. But I can't promise anything because like I said, off the top, I am lazy. Of course. Do you have anyone in your community that might uh, have any experience with uh, video editing? Um, no, I don't think so, but I thought about that before, and, like, the... It's not the editing so much. Well, it is the editing, but it's also, like, putting the... The comedy... I'm doing air quotes, you can't see me, but the comedy <laughs> parts that I put into the video, like, I did stuff I thought would be funny, and, like, what you think is funny is different from what I think is funny and it's not really what I'm looking to do having someone else's like comedic stylings in the video okay not as a I'm not saying your humor style is bad I'm just saying it's different from mine and it's not something I'm looking to have someone put their own stamp on it I guess is what I'm trying to say okay Makes sense. Making sure the voice is purely curb stomped, really important to you. Basically, yes. And like, it's, yeah, exactly. Like, I did the jokes in there that I thought would be funny. I like to think I have a good sense of humor. 
<laughs> I don't know. I mean, I let uh, people laugh when I'm around. Is it because they're laughing at me or with me? I don't know. I mean, but, hey, uh, I like the, to in do the my last own 90 thing. Day- Sorry, go ahead. No, that was the end. The end. I was going to say, in the last 90 days, like, almost 500 people also uh, said they thought you were very funny. So uh, I would say that's pretty valid. <laughs> uh, Slint has put a quote that uh, is basically what I do in the <laughs> in the stream, <laughs> laugh at my own joke while no one else does. <laughs> I mean, if you can't make yourself laugh, you may as well just stop doing it. Right. Oh, man. Um, when I first started streaming, so the uh, the very first thing that I did before, like, my pre-streaming thing was to actually record myself to try to, like, judge myself and figure out what worked, what didn't, and so on. And I definitely found myself, and I had to go to Sizzling uh, Chris W. and say, like, so I'm watching myself and laughing at my own jokes. Like, <laughs> is this good or is this, like, weird? Or is this, like, the most narcissistic thing I have <laughs> ever done? <laughs> Just, like, man, that Aaron guy, he is hilarious. Like, oh, here comes that, oh, man, that joke was great. <laughs> I mean, everyone that performs is a narcissist, narcissist, so that's okay. Right? That is a fantastic thing that Salinth might have to remember for a quote. I don't know if it's fantastic, but it's the truth. No, I think so. Like... Actually, it's a pretty interesting insight there. I think I like it. Um, so, I actually did have an idea for you um, with regards to YouTube that might be a way that you could at least put some content out there a little bit faster than um, you other... A uh, little bit faster. A little bit easier okay. for you. So, uh, not videos. I was looking for... Where is Clips. I couldn't find the clips anymore. Yeah. Um... Let's just take... Nope, that's going to be dashboard. Um... Maybe it is under videos. Maybe things are just... a. Uh, here we go. Pop- uh, videos, popular clips. Ah, there we so, go. So yeah. Uh, when I went and looked at some of your clips, do you mind if I bring uh, one or two of these up on screen? I mean, I would mute them because they're going to be me swearing, but uh, I don't care. Bring them up. I think I'm okay with that for a time or two. So Okay, here see. comes a big one. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I cracked myself up. I'm sorry. <laughs> right? There's another creeper there? God, right? there was a double. What is happening? Oh, because, oh, got it. Man, that was awful. Like, literally, I'm on your page. You're apparently hosting somebody else right now, but it's giving an ad? What? Oh, man. That face, dead inside. What is this? What did you miss? I got blown up by a creeper. This was clipped by Otakaro because uh, Uh, this is on the server, and someone decided to come to my base and have a creeper blow up and destroy the landscape. (laughs) <laughs> Third hiss. Uh, it didn't go off as a hiss. I missed an entire. Not a big deal, yet. but uh, I was just like, "Why? L-M-B-O. Why are you ruining my landscape over here?" <laughs> you just watch you guys. I'm just gonna dig a hole here. Going on. He's trying to fill in the ruined space he made, but whatever. Gotcha. But so seriously. actually, I, I think I know what you're gonna be saying here, and I was already planning on doing this here. Perfect. Was I was gonna take the highlight reel, basically. Yep. With the Twitch clips. And the first thing was going to be the, um, what, the, what is the new option on Twitch? The uh, preview video, or what do they call it? Uh, the channel trailer? The channel trailer. Yep. I was going to whip something together with the clips, making the channel trailer. And it's also going to be put on the YouTube as the YouTube trailer. Yep. And then the goal is, when the, the raid comes in with the new people, I'll be like, oh, welcome in. Oh, my name's Curb. Oh, you want to see what I'm about? Boom. Press the play button, drop the video, so they can check out how bad I am at games. Right. Uh, that was definitely what I was thinking there. Uh, another thing that I was thinking. So for those of you who don't know, Curb Stomped has made incre- Curb Stomped and his, in- and his community have made incredible um, use of... Um, the quotes function that a lot of bots out there have. Um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Curb Stomped has managed to train his community to bait him into saying train. certain things and then to do things that generate ridiculous quotes. Part I two. mean, the main thing is I don't think before I speak, so uh, like uh, really idiotic comments come out. <laughs> right. Definitely happens. But yeah, what, uh, what I was kind of thinking with that is that um, you have incredible content in at least some of these. You definitely have to go and filter some of them, like that, uh, uh, that face dead inside. Definitely nothing happening in there. Interesting. But, like, this one was such a good clip. Um, <laughs> and if I look, like, your top all-time... Like, top all-time, the number one one, Hiss, that's the best one. I think I've... Cool. Uh, I definitely want to watch this. This is the RTX going like off when I get bombed by a creeper. Storm, still... oh, Jesus. So I turn into a creeper in this clip. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> um, that's a classic. That's a classic. And like, yeah, you've definitely got some really fun things going in here. So literally, if you just took like, uh, if you tried to gather like four or five clips um, from some of your stuff, like... And just like meld them together, maybe with just even a little bridge between them. Maybe, or yep. like you acting out those memes that you've said. Like instead of you having to go and s splice in a ton of memes, like what if you literally just started like doing some of the memes yourself in between things? You might be able to just like get things together. And what's what would be really cool is like because you've been able to train your community, let's call it that, into like the <laughs> quotes... What if you train them into clipping things? Like seriously. They, they do that all the time. Right? Like getting your community to like clip your funny things and then just go through and like pull, um, even if you pulled like six clips from every single stream, uh, threw up like a little um, you doing something silly at the front and uh, metal and like boom onto YouTube, like two minute video like quintessential curb this is what to expect from a oh, curb stream i like that name quintessential curb i like that let me write that down on my chalkboard here yeah that is fantastic Ooh, you've got a chalkboard no that was a lie uh, <laughs> definitely writing that one down if you haven't uh if you haven't seen it uh, i i have uh got this thing beside me now um, i see the whiteboard yeah, the whiteboard beside me, so incredibly amazing. Literally just having a dry erase. And now when an idea comes up, it's just like, all right, guys, we're writing this on the wall so that next time I sit down in this chair, I remember it. Um, cost me, it cost me, Sizzling Chris W. Picked it up for like $25 off uh, Amazon. Amazon.ca. Nice. Um, so yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you play Rocket League and chat, never text and drive. <laughs> exactly. Oh, dear. <laughs> Split is incredible. Um, sorry, Splat is incredible. Split is incredible. Split? Splat? Something? Splat. It's one of my clips. Uh, I eat a fudgio very aggressively in that clip, and then something funny happens. Oh, that one. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> Let's see this, guys. I eat this fudgio while I go. <laughs> god i'm such an idiot right but dude that is fantastic <laughs> that's a good one like seriously i am i'm imagining a channel trailer which literally starts out with you just going like all right guys here's what you can expect from this channel and just like eats a eats oreo aggressively ah yeah. dies to a creeper aggressively just like curse word curse word curse word Oh yeah, that is definitely the plan. I will mute the swearing. Eh, you uh, know, whatevs. It is. I think it's. I think it's funnier that way. Oh, true. If you get a if you get a bleep where you do that, you're right. That would be fantastic. Or maybe a goat. <laughs> I mean, ooh, even better. Just so you don't run into any copyright issues. What if you like got someone in your community to like do the goat noise? <laughs> oh God. Like, just like, all right, guys, I need a goat sound effect, but it has to be a bad goat sound effect, <laughs> clearly done by a human. Please, everybody, submit your goat sounds to me. I can me. only imagine the nightmare sounds that I would hear. Right? But also, that totally would then give you, like, 
Ooh, that could give you content for a stream where you're like, all right, guys, I asked you guys to submit this sound effect. I'm literally going to play your sound effects oh, from Discord. Let's hear how this went. <laughs> Just get trolled. Right? I mean, oh, Slint says add beeps to the his command of Slint three, which is me just swearing repeatedly. So that that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. I'll do that. I like it. Literally, one where Curb Stomp is just like you bleep of a bleep with your bleep in a blender bleep. It's more like what the bleep? Oh my god, what the bleep? Uh oh. Uh, do you uh do you have a stream deck? I do. Yes, of course. Can you add just, like, a bleep button on it? I've tried to, but I couldn't get it to work properly, so... Uh, oh, no. I gotta look into it some more. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I might have. I might look into that for you also, see if I can help you with that. I have to uh, revamp my whole setup. I need a new desk, and I need a... Uh, it's too cramped. Two monitors, it's just too cramped here, so I gotta do a whole revamp here. Gotcha. Two monitors. Oh, man. Game changer. You need two monitors, sir. Oh, totally. Uh, ac when I first started streaming, I was streaming from a laptop. Then I went and picked up a... Oh, my lord. Uh, I picked up a monitor from Value Village for $7.99. Oh, yeah. I kept the sticker on it um, because it was funny <laughs> um, to use it. So I had that second monitor. It was a Value monitor from 2003. Oh, um, nice. It was so, so trash. Still have it. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and then ran that for a while. And then, then I moved to my janky, like, two laptop setup for a while. That was great. Um, so that I had, like, um, streaming stuff on one and game on a second. Now I'm down to uh, one laptop. I need to figure out how to... I need to get this underneath my desk, but I've only got about, like, 10 inches of clearance, so... I need to find something that's about six, seven inches off the ground that I can put it on. Something like that, so that I could maybe do that. Um, uh, Richard Jr., thank you very much. I appreciate uh, you saying that. <laughs> I'm, uh, I appreciate you saying that there, Ron. All right, and Salinth, thank you very much by uh, playing the role of the moderator right now. Um, <clears throat> uh, I do, uh, because I've been changing things around a little bit, Salinth, uh, I time people out rather than uh, outright banning unless someone comes in here like aggressively with hate speech or something. All right, so yeah, um... No, I am not an alt-right individual, uh, Nanner. Um. All right, uh, sorry, where was I there, Salent? Uh, what was I talking about? Right. I, I definitely get, uh, sidetracked more and more these days than I ever did. So, yeah. Uh, I think, honestly... I think your next big growth, and you've been seeing it a lot um, with uh, getting featured and the like, and I think we chatted about this a little bit. Um, so I'll move to that one first. Um, apparently Twitch has introduced, um, has been starting to introduce some discoverability elements into their platform, and it seems like that has been based around uh, tags. Please play forever, thank you very much for that follow, and Nanner, thank you very much for the follow. Um, um, sorry, what was I saying? Right. Um, so Twitch has seemed to introduce some discoverability elements into it. Uh, it seems like, um, making use of tags properly in your streams seems to be a useful way to, um, trigger a useful way to uh, play into the recommended side of things. So I think we chatted about this, uh, offline. But definitely make sure to use as many tags as you can fit in there um, with each of your streams that go live. Um, I, I do always have full tags going for sure. That'll definitely get you more on um, 
Richard Jr., uh, 69, thank you very much for the follow. And uh, Desecrated, thank you very much for the follow there. Um, Salint's hard at work right now. There's yeah, Salint seems to be hard at work, so I appreciate that, Salint. The wieners are out. Um... Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, keep that up and you'll probably find yourself playing into that. The next big thing that you will find, honestly, will likely be YouTube. I mean, uh, looking at some of your numbers, we saw that what you were pulling in, but the fact that you were able to pull in like a hundred, uh, nearly a hundred views off some of your YouTube videos consistently on this, I could see you pulling into like the mid hundreds, low thousands relatively quickly because your humor is so good and your humor translates very well um, oh thank you yeah uh, i think you can start blush. seeing that and if um incorporating an element of uh some sort of <clears throat> what's the word i'm looking for um some sort of call to action to get people um then from youtube to twitch you might be able to find yourself growing um both communities relatively uh quickly with that way if you can manage to do that i know that'll be a lot of work but you might be able to do that um, and if the eight minute and 35 sort of videos are a heck of a lot of work for you, you might look at uh, sort of three to four minute videos, things that are just like super digestible, like string that five to six clips together and then just like a quick intro and outro by you. Like, Hey guys, it's curb stomped. Get ready. I don't know. How would you say something? How would you intro something there? <laughs> How would I intro it? I'd be like, hello, I'm here. All may rejoice. <laughs> I am here. All may rejoice. Enjoy this video. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I I mean, like, honestly, it's um, like, I don't, uh, how do you say, like, um, I'm just like me. I'm, I'm not like putting on an act really. Uh, so I don't like do anything like that. Not that it doesn't work for people, but uh, I just am just me. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. No, uh, no that's totally a thing. Um, some people are very, um, what you see is what you get. Like you, as you've said, you offline is the exact same as you online. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Except I swear more in real life, if you can believe that. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I mean, nah, uh, I've been to your streams. You're actually relatively decent, except unless in case like a creeper blows up, blows up in your face or <laughs> yes. something. I, I, I honestly try not to swear that much. Um, but uh, I mean, I'm an old, old man now, so I've been swearing my whole life. So it's hard to not just keep laying the F-bombs all the time. Right. I remember, like, uh, showing up at Mikey T's for, I think it was Halloween or something. And you were definitely like, mm. Feldy, what the bleep is up, you bleeper? Something like I that. I might have been drunk. What's that? I said I might have been drunk. You definitely were. You were some like, dude, <laughs> I brought an eight pack. I am six beers in. I'm like, didn't this start like half an hour ago? Catch up. Hey! Had to catch up. Right? Ah, uh, so good. All right. Give me a second here. All right, so I'm seeing a couple chats over here in, um, over here on the chat side of things. Um, so it seems like you guys are, uh, having a little bit of fun there. Um, I do ask, of course, please be polite with some of the things that you guys are saying there. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I definitely see, uh, Salint having a bit of a, a go with things, so. Uh, desecrated? Um, no. Uh, that, uh, I am going to be keeping politics out of there, and this is a stream that we are not, uh, that I'm focused on something. So, if you're looking to talk about the various things going on uh, within the world today, a different stream is somewhere that you'll want to look at right now. Alright, so. And seriously, uh, I've been working on some of my video video editing, so if you want to bounce some ideas back, or even if you need a hand with some things, uh, I'd love to help with this, because honestly, I think this will be like an explosion for you, legitimately. I, yeah, I do want to get 
more onto it, but like I said, the laziness is the main stopping point. Totally hear you. I totally hear you, man. All right, so I went and pulled a couple things from Social Blade here. I don't know if there's much we can learn from it. Um, I haven't looked at a lot of things. Um, you are... Let's see. It gives you some ranks around things, your latest games, follows for the last 30 days. I really need to be... I'm going to be uh, doing a stream in the next little bit about uh, looking at um, how to sort of use some of the different social sites. Because I think it's a thing that a lot of people... Uh, a lot of streamers out there don't really make use of. Um, so that was some of that. Yeah, I'm not seeing much that we didn't also see from Sully, no. This definitely breaks it down a little bit easier. Um, you aren't particularly active on any social media, is that correct? Uh, no, just Discord mostly. I mean, I have the Twitter account and I have the Facebook thing as well, but uh, I mean, I use... I use Twitter more just to keep up with other people rather than uh, doing anything for myself, honestly. That's totally fair. Totally fair. Um, estimated earnings. What is this? That's this, how much oh, I earn from my videos. This is on, this is on uh, YouTube. Um, obviously, I believe you're s small and have yet to enable things, but... Uh... So... Many, many years ago, I uploaded a video to YouTube of me just playing Forza 2, I think, and it was a dumb, terrible clip, but it somehow got onto a Forza playlist where I got, like, 20,000 views on it. Oh, gotcha. And they were like, hey, you should enable monetization on your channel. And I was like, eh, why bother? I don't need to do that. Um, so I didn't do it, and now it's, like, impossible to get monetized on YouTube, so I should have done it. But anyways, it's in the past. Oh, well, I'm sure if you, uh, I'm sure if you started hard, you'd probably get there relatively fast. That'd be a nice, nice dream. But, uh, yeah, it's right? uh, something to work towards anyways. Something to work towards. Um, let's see. What else can I really bring up? What else can I really bring up? Um... What else? Oh, right. So I wanted to talk then about, let's see, the note I had here was to chat with you about your drunk stream or drunk streams. Okay. I don't well, know how many you've actually done along that side of things. They're not, I mean, they're not set out to be a drunk stream. Okay. Really. They're a drinking stream where I'm drinking an adult beverage and a few, I mean, have turned into, yes, definite drunk streams and there have been a fun time and it seems to be a kind of popular thing to do with the people that are watching uh i've got good feedback about them it's just uh not something i want to do all the time uh, i don't drink alone basically i don't drink you know at home by myself or anything like that i do it in a social setting and twitch is a social setting for me when i'm doing this sort of stream um, but it, again, it's like not something I want to do all the time. Um, but they've been good and like had a lot of fun doing them and it's just something different to do. Change of pace, I guess. Okay. So more just sort of like trying something different, a change, as you said, a change of pace. For sure. And it's like, um, you know, uh, you can do different things. It's all, I mean, I generally do them as just chatting and people will share videos to watch or we'll have different topics of discussion or whatever and uh yeah seems to be a fun time for everybody so and then people watching will i mean they say they're having enjoying a beverage with me are they actually i don't know i don't care um but uh you know it uh sort of adds to the uh, community aspect anyways gotcha okay um cool cool well thank you for sharing that no problem. Um, let's see. Um, huh. What else can I bring up? Because I know we talked about doing this for about an hour and we're a little bit over. Um, so let's see. What else to bring up to sort of round things out? Um, so obviously you mentioned you're going to be streaming uh, pretty hard on the uh, for the next three weeks. So what can uh, anyone out there who wants to check out your stream, which I'm totally going to... Uh, throw up right now because i don't think i've done that i throw up a command that said uh that throws up your link 
Um, what, um, what can people expect in the next three weeks from you? What, uh, what are we going to be seeing? Well, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm going to be streaming at least basically eight hours a day, at least five days a week. That's the goal. Like treat it like it's a job. See if it's something that I would want to do for that long every day. Um, so I'm going to be doing that minimum eight hours a day. So I might go long. I might take a break in between whatever. Um, the, uh, it's going to be pretty much, you know, the same, uh, games that I've been normally doing though. I want to add in some other stuff. I want to, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of ideas of what to do just to mix it up a bit. I want to do a community stream where we play a community game. Uh, I don't know what game yet. There's been some suggestions of like Jackbox and stuff like that. Jackbox is fine, but it kind of gets not as fun the longer you play it. Okay. Um, so I want to do that. I want to add in some sort of maybe single player like uh, mm, playthrough stream where once a week I play a game. And I continue to do that over the course of many weeks to beat it. Um, I'm thinking about um, some sort of throwback day where I have all my, I got all my console, old consoles that I can hook up to the streaming thing. So I'm thinking about throwback games, retro games, just something to mix it up a little bit. Um, but m the majority of the time is going to continue to be Minecraft. And then the other one is maybe monthly I'll do a community chatting stream with some of the adult beverages going with it okay um, so that's sort of the that's the look we're going for for the next three weeks here i like it okay mm -hmm. that is pretty cool um let's see uh last thing um i guess the last question that i'd have is sort of what keeps you streaming um, what keeps me streaming? Yeah, you've <coughs> Sorry, been doing, you've been doing you this for two years. So, uh, sort of, what is it that keeps you coming back uh, every coming back day to day? Uh, well, I mean, like uh, I've met a lot of cool people through streaming. Like I would have never met you. I would have never met Salinth. Uh, you know, I've met people around the world, different countries, different backgrounds. I'm interacting with people that I would never have ever spoken to. I mean, it's not in person generally, it's through Discord, through the stream, whatever, but I'm meeting so many new and interesting people that uh, I just really like to talk to the people when I'm playing. And, like, the main thing is, like, okay, I'm going to play a game anyways. I've been playing games since I was six years old. So, you know, th uh, 36 years later, what, how old am I? 36 years later, uh, I'm still playing games. So I'm going to be doing it anyways. I was like, I can just stream it. I can check, talk to somebody while I'm doing it, have a good time. And maybe eventually one day this can, this can be the, jo you know, your job. That's the main thing, but the, it is mainly just to meet new people and talk to them. I, I have a good time doing that. Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, so you act, so you would hope to be able to do this as a job someday. Oh, abs absolutely. That's the dream for sure. Like, I mean, I, a lot of people like say, like I said, I jokingly said one time, not really jokingly, it was like a legitimate thing. I was like, if someone wants to pay me to pay, play Roblox every day, um, I would do that. And someone was like, oh, you would hate to do that. Like, uh, you would hate, you don't like that game. I was like, but I, I mean, I go to a job where I sit at a desk and I talk to these people and it's all not fun. I mean, if I'm playing Roblox and getting paid for it, like, of course, of course I'd do that. So that's, I mean, obviously I play games. I like to do it in my free time. I would love to do it as a job. Gotcha. All right. One second, Kerb. Uh, Mighty Kids Meal, thank you very much for the follow there. Um, Salint, uh, thank you very much for uh, handling moderation while things are going. I apologize, everyone. It seems like uh, we definitely had some stuff going on uh, that Salint uh, had to take care of. So hopefully nothing too negative uh, was occurring in the midst of all this. 
It's a lot of uh, wieners in the just chatting uh, category for sure. A little bit, including yourself, Curb, uh, throwing out your Curb's wiener uh, yes. running around there. So that's the that's the uh, thing with the uh, just chatting channel. There's a lot of uh, interesting people. Yes, yes, unfortunately, that uh, does seem to happen here. I definitely noticed an increase in uh, trolls and um, people out to try to get uh, various reactions as a result. So we're learning, we're dealing. Um, yeah, I was chatting about some uh, dealing with some trolls yesterday and just sort of how the way you deal with things... Um, uh, yeah, uh, the way you deal with things can definitely lead to different feels about um, your stream and the like. Uh, Killa Kapowski, thank you very much for the follow there. I appreciate that. Took him an hour to follow you. Gosh, he's slacking. Uh, that is, I'm going to call that one on me. That's actually a lack of call to actions on my side of things. Um, one thing, uh, I released a video about this a little bit ago. Um... There's a difference sort of uh, for a streamer and what they kind of want versus what viewers want. Like viewers are here for entertainment. Uh, as a streamer, I mean, we're here to entertain, but we're also like here specifically thinking about things like follows and likes and the like. But like uh, someone like Killa Kapowski is here to be entertained, not here to hit a follow button. So the fact they didn't hit for an hour is just like, oh, right. I guess that's a thing that you're supposed to do on Twitch. But just He's like, no, 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 Twitch, sit back though, and... That's... Enjoy and also listen part. to Curb uh, chat about things. He's a noob, too. <laughs> hey, everyone is a noob at some point, right? He's been a lifelong noob. Um, I guess you would know, having known him for uh, most of your life. Yes, all my life. <laughs> uh, older or younger brother? Oh, he's younger. Oh, gotcha. So you've been the uh, tormenting... You were player one. He had to settle for player two all his life. Um, yeah, I mean, we'd scrap it out and then someone else, we, we would alternate. <laughs> Killa says you're a dick. <laughs> I mean, he's called me worse, so that's okay. I imagine you may have also called him worse. Oh, for sure. Um, <laughs> yes, that word is definitely getting longer, Bob. Every single stream. Oh, man. Um, what, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, not much to say yet other than really cool to note that uh, you'd love to do streaming as a job. I see the oh, Roblox yeah. thing is definitely turned into a bit of a meme within your community. Oh, God, yeah. Roblox is just absolute trash. But um, if someone was to pay me a livable salary to play Roblox, I'd be like, where do I sign, my dudes? right do be careful like salinth might try to literally go and seek out someone willing to do that he might well, make you eat those words get paid if i get paid so what's that slint's gonna get paid if i get paid i made a promise that if i get a thousand subs he's gonna get a thousand dollars interesting that is quite the deal you made there yeah, I also said I'd wear a fursuit if I got 100 subs, and I also said I'd do bath salts on stream. So I say a lot of things. <laughs> Let's see how many of those things, um, how many of those things actually end up being the case. When you say a fursuit, you're really just going to, like, rock a onesie, right? Um, I'm not going to rock anything. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Oh, Killa is saying he would give you $1,000 to shave that beard off. All right. Uh, you know my email address. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So this has been incredibly fun. Uh, do you have anything, any questions you want to ask of me? Anything, uh, anything I can do for you? Um, not off the top of my head, really. It was a fun chat. I uh, had a good time. Um... There was a few wiener boys in the chat trying to bring us down, but uh, I mean, it's it's sad when they they got to come in and try to snuff your candle out to make theirs brighter. So right, um, it is what it is. It's part of the deal with Twitch, and uh, you know when you got the good mods around, uh, it makes the time a lot better. Absolutely. So we're definitely going to do a shout out to Salint. Thank you very much Absolutely. for being a fantastic mod in the midst of this Salint. So I could. Uh, Focus more on the conversation conversation with Curb. 
and he's doing it while he's playing uh, Rocket League, so it's like multitasking. Damn. All right, uh, let's throw it out to everyone else. Uh, before we end this, I've got about another five or so minutes that I'm going to be up. Uh, does anyone else out there have any questions for Curb Stomp that I can field out to them? Uh, I imagine Salinth is going to uh, ask something about Roblox or a fursuit, because he's already <laughs> talked about the fursuit. So we'll see what sort of shows up for here. We will uh, stall a touch on uh, on this. Um while people take the opportunity to write out their incredibly long-winded posts about, you know, asking about specific things in your childhood and formative memories or whatever. <laughs> hey, you were, Salint, you were on my channel. You were allowed to ask legitimate questions if you want. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Bo works. Bob Gaming is wondering, and I'm going to slightly edit this. Are you going to put up a troll bits goal for a Roblox stream? Oof, oof. Like, oof, oof. Jeez Louise. I have been considering re adding a um, stream goal for donations. Okay. Um, I don't know if I will. I've been thinking about it. I mean, the amount to play Roblox with God, it has to be like a lot. I mean, we're not talking. We're not talking 50 bucks here. We're talking like $50,000 because that game looks like hot garbage. Gotcha. So like a troll goal then. Oh, a million dollars. Just so like everyone comes in and just sees like one, like $5 of a million dollars play Roblox. <laughs> yes, exactly. Who knows? Maybe uh, someone will come in and just be like, you know what? This fool... Needs to play Roblox. Here's right. $999,995. Right? Just imagine, like, Mr. Beast drops by your screen and is like, all right, done. Well, the, the new Mr. Beast, he called himself, did come into the stream and just donated 5,000 biddies and left, so. Huh. That, uh, <laughs> definitely it us thing. He said, remember me, I'm the new Mr. Beast. And I was like, okay. I you got it, Ty TV, I'll remember you. Thai TV, so you did remember the name. That's pretty oh, exciting. Yeah. I it don't worked. know if I would have put the TV in the name. Um, well, it was like Thai TV 4379 or something. Ooh, that, that is awkward. But Definitely could have come up with, like, could have come up with something more memorable. How much does Curb like Dr. Phil? Um, he should be deleted from the internet and the world. I already said this. Hmm. All right. Now you are on record saying that, Curb. <laughs> oh no uh let's see salinth never has any legitimate questions tisk tisk uh bob gaiman repping the dr phil thing dude it has turned into a meme with you i love it just those random dr phil uh things um i kind of like the idea of a troll goal even just throwing it on there for like a week just like donate just like a bit donation or something. I'm actually curious how that would work too. If you'd get people just like come in, ask about it, laugh, and then like throw you a dollar towards it. <laughs> like, um, oh, that actually is a good question that comes to mind. How do you uh, choose? Uh, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. How do you choose to spend your Twitch payouts? Oh, um, I basically use them to either improve what's going on behind the scenes with gear and whatever. Okay. Or it goes back into Twitch uh, with gifts or biddies or uh, purchasing like a boom mug from uh, a certain merch store or other things like that, basically. Or even, uh, yeah. One of those beauties right there. One of these um, beauties. I've got to. I gotta punch that thing in. Exclamation merch. We'll give you guys a link to that merch store where exactly. you can see this fantastic mug and a couple of other things that are absolute uh, garbage and you should not buy. Please don't do that. <laughs> I need to actually update this with uh, some proper content in there. You haven't got it yet, Salint. What the heck? I definitely got mine, so I don't know what to say. Did that get sent to like your old address? Just smashed out front of his old house. Oh no. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much um, what's happening for that, anyways. All right. So behind the scenes improvements 
and uh, trying to put that money right back into Twitch. I like it. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty solid. I like it. Uh, what is the next improvement you're looking to make then? Well, I need a new keyboard. I need a new desk. I need a third monitor. I need better lighting. Uh, God, I could keep going on and on here. I need a lot of stuff. I need better soundproofing in here. Uh, I mean, who? I, never ending. Gotcha. Uh, what are you looking to do with your desk? I, I'm new one. <laughs> I'm using this terrible corner desk that I removed the hutch off of it. And it's just not enough space. Uh, the, it's cramped. Uh, it's just no good. Okay. Um, so but got... I want to get, like, the next one is the last one. So I don't want to just get something as a stopgap. It's got to be, like, what's going to go for the ever. The next 10 years, at least. Oh, God. I've had this one for, I don't even... I don't even want to guess how long I've had this thing, but uh, yeah, the next one's got to be, it's got to fit what I need, basically. I like it. It's pretty solid. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, ev pretty much every streamer I know has some sort of upgrade thing that they want to do. Now, uh, I definitely have talked about the upgrade cycle and how it's a very problematic thing that you can get into as a streamer but at the same time there's something very great about having this kind of like goal in your head of like what i'm going to do next this thing that sort of motivates you as a streamer that just like i'm gonna get a new keyboard because like i dislike mine uh bt dubs i totally need a new keyboard because turns out a uh, ten dollar keyboard from walmart uh when you just happen to need a keyboard for a new computer kind of a garbage piece of uh technology mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, eh, I need to upgrade that thing. Uh, could be anyone needs to upgrade his head dance, apparently. Um, and, all right, well, I think that's going to bring things to the end because I've got about 7 o'clock on the stream. Thank you very much, Slynth. Um, so we are going to call it there. Curb Stomped. It has been absolutely incredible. Thank you very much for taking the time to do this. Thank you for having me. Uh, it was uh, a fun time, and it's you know good to hear someone else's uh, sort of uh, perspective of what uh, I'm doing and uh, getting the feedback that way. Of course. Hopefully, I hopefully there's some ideas, and it wasn't too weird or harsh or anything like that. Oh no, no. Well, fantastic. All right, then, uh, let's see, the shout-outs for things. So, Curb Stomped, when is the next time you will be streaming? When can people check you out? Well, people can check me out probably within the next hour after I eat dinner, and I'm going to be coming back to stream some Minecraft tonight. Fantastic. So, you guys heard it. Please go to, and I'm going to do exclamation Curb Stomped here. Please go uh, like um, please go follow Curb Stomp's channel right now if you have not already. He's going to be streaming some Minecraft in an hour, and it will be fantastic. He is definitely going to be in full-on form, having a blast, probably swearing a little bit, and uh, you will see Salinth uh, baiting him into saying hilarious, hilarious quotes. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. It has been fantastic hanging with you guys and again thank you curb stomped this has been wonderful of you to do this no uh, problem hopefully i can uh, manage to get another guest in on here in the next coming while because i definitely had a blast doing this uh i'll be reviewing the vod in the next little while to sort of see what worked what didn't and go from there perfect all right, uh, so I'm going to disconnect with you, uh, finish off the stream for the day here, everybody, and then call it uh, for the night. So we'll catch you later, Curb Stump. Thanks a lot. Have a good evening. Uh, if you guys like this content, don't forget to hit the follow button uh, so you guys can uh, hang out with me in the future. It would be amazing to see your awesome faces. My name is Aaron, a.k.a. Feldy. This has been fantastic. Hopefully, I will see you guys in the future.